to our wooden shoe workshop, I will show and explain to you how we make a wooden shoe nowadays. Il legno che usiamo per fare un zoccoli e piombo. Legno fresco e bagnati, facili per tagliare. The wood we use to make the wooden shoes is poplar, Canadian poplar. It grows in Holland fresh and wet and easy to cut. L'esterno per coltello, mano. In the early days, the entire outside shape was made with this big knife all done by hand. Scorbia, the l'interno, for the inside, several sizes of spoon scoops are needed. Eh, a mano servono due ore per fare un paio di zoccoli con le macchine a 5 minuti. Mm -hmm. To make a pair by hand takes two hours. On the machines nowadays is five minutes. E eh, questa macchina fa l'esterno lo stesso principio come fare a chiave, fare a copia, pantograph. What we have here is a copy machine, same way as duplicating keys. A model on one side, the knives take away the wood while following the model. We'll start with the outside shape. The outside shape, less sterile. Lo stesso principio per l'interno, una copia. Same system for the inside. Again, we make a copy of the model that we've put in. Inside shape, l'interno, e la punta dello zoccolo è tagliato a mano. Last part, cutting up nose and heel, is done the traditional way with the big knife. Needs to be dried three to four weeks and then afterwards they're polished. Asciugare il legno circa quattro settimane, poi si passa con quattro filtrata. Alla fine, zoccolo per un bambino di quattro anni. The result will be a light and well polished wooden shoe to fit a child of four years old. They're all big and they offer you good protection. Grande, asciutti e forti. E impermeabili. They're waterproof. Best way to wear them, thick wooden socks for comfort and one finger of space, extra room, always too big and you'll be fine. Calcitoni di lana and espacio di dito. Alright, thank you for your attention. Have a look around. Have a look around.